42,000 years ago, a neutron star shook, triggering a sequence of events ending in the most intense explosion witnessed by humans in history. The only source surpassing it is the sun. It was caused by a star quake, and as its name implies, it's somewhat similar to an earthquake. The particular event that we observed 21 years ago originated from a magnetar called SGR 1806-20, located around 42,000 light years away. And the starquake was equivalent to a magnitude 32 earthquake, around 22 orders of magnitude more powerful than the most devastating earthquake ever. But the cause of the starquake and its implications are very different from your everyday seismic quake. See, magnetars, as the name implies, have extraordinarily powerful magnetic fields, otherwise they're ordinary neutron stars. But because they rapidly rotate, their internal and external magnetic fields can be wildly twisted. More specifically, it's generally believed that as a result of internal electromagnetic dynamics, the internal and external magnetic fields become highly differentiated, only matching because the star's outer crust can hold up against the stress. But eventually, the difference becomes too great and the crust finally snaps. Except it doesn't snap, it rapidly flows, most often by a twisting motion of the entire star. Mechanically, it can result in the northern hemisphere twisting a few meters relative to the southern hemisphere over the course of a few dozen milliseconds. This is the starquake, and it's what triggers the explosion. What happens next is the rapid realignment of the external magnetic field, not unlike what happens in a solar flare. But because the magnetic field is trillions of times stronger than that of the sun, the released energy is equally more devastating. And as rapidly changing magnetic and electric fields result in the release of electromagnetic waves, we get lots of those in this case. In the case of SGR 1806-20, we had a gamma ray flash emitting more energy in a tenth of a second than the sun does in 150,000 years. If we could see gamma rays, this would have been about a thousand times brighter than a full moon, brighter than anything else that's ever been observed in the sky, except the sun.